Recently, Carmelo Anthony was on Paul George's podcast, and he said he could have teamed up with LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh in Miami, creating one of the greatest super teams of all time. Ultimately, Melo wanted to be the star of his own team, so he decided not to join the Heat, but imagine if we would have seen this big four. I feel like they would have been unstoppable, and today, we're going to put that to the test in 2K. We're starting this simulation off in 2010, and we're going to simulate until 2014 when LeBron left Miami to see how many championships this Heat Big Four can win. Now, I do want to note that I have moved around the lineup a little bit. I put LeBron James at power forward at 6'9". I think he makes sense at the 4. Then I move Bosh over to the 5, and we'll have Wade at the 2. With all that talking out of the way, let's jump straight into season number 1, the 2010-2011 season. Season is over with. LeBron James wins MVP, averaging 25, 7, and 9 on the year. Seems like his numbers didn't suffer too much playing alongside Melo. Also, we did see Dwayne Wade on All-NBA second team. He averaged 23-7-7 seven and seven on the year. LeBron and Wade were elite. But where's Melo? No All-NBA this year? Also, Paul and LeBron made All-Defense. Okay, Melo played really well. He averaged 22-7-4 and four on the year. Great efficiency for Carmelo Anthony as well. And we won 67 games on the season we were tied with the bulls in terms of wins but they must have the tiebreaker also bosh averaged about 17 and 10 on the year our big four was great and since it's playoff time we're gonna shorten this to an eight-man rotation Coach Spo was running a nine-man during the regular season. In round one of the playoffs, we got the New Jersey Nets. This team is garbage. No way our big four is losing to them. That's a sweep. Round two, we got the Celtics. We know LeBron has his fair share of history with this team. They've got an old Allen Pierce and Garnett. They've also got Rondo running the one. Game number one of the series will go to us. Celtics win game two, but we win game three. And the Celtics win game four. Okay, we've got ourselves a series headed into game five. The Celtics and their older stars have came to play, but we do manage a game five win. Melo, 29. Wade, 29 and 13. LeBron, 31 and 10. And to their credit, the Celtics played very well, but just not good enough. And now we are one game away from advancing to the conference finals, where we'll be taking on the Chicago Bulls if we win here. And it looks like we will take care of the Celtics. Melo, 34. Oh, playoff Melo is on a different level. He must be getting a lot of clean looks playing alongside other superstars. His efficiency is off the charts, and he's averaging 28 a night, 34. Four points in this one. LeBron, a 31 point triple double. Bosch, 18 and 13. Wade with 16. And in the conference finals, it's Chicago. Here we go. 96 overall. D Rose is leading the team, but they've got other good players like Boozer, Joe Keem, and Lou Aldang. Game number one of the series goes to the Bulls. We win game two and three, but they'll win game four. We're all tied up, headed into game five. And real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really Really appreciate if you consider subscribing we're trying to hit 100k thank you all so much for all your support and it looks like in game five it's gonna be your miami heat we always show up in these big games okay Melo didn't really show up in this game but that's all right because wade had his back braun had his back so did bosh and that's what makes it seem like this so scary i mean you have all this talent even if one star has an off night another guy can pick up the slack and headed into game six we've got a chance to close out the Bulls and move on to the finals against the Dallas Mavericks and we'll do exactly that Wade with 31 LeBron 22 Melo 28 now remember in the 2011 finals LeBron James had a meltdown against Dirk and the Mavs let's see if that same thing happens in this video game universe game number one of the series will go to us we won by a single point as Wade had 31 number 23 had 23 or wait, he was number six here, wasn't he? Yeah, my bad. Melo had 21. Game two is also a heat win, but the Mavs come out with a game three win. And in game three, LeBron, oh man, only 13 points with five turnovers. Game four is a big game for us here. 
Either we take a commanding 3-1 to one series lead or the Mavericks tie it up and make things interesting. And we've got a close one here in the clutch. Minute 29 remaining. Currently, we're up by five points and we have the ball. Let's close this one out. Bosch is not currently checked in for your Miami Heat. Oh my gosh. Wade has 39. But Bosch ended up fouling out in this one. But don't worry. We got plenty of other stars. Wade working in the mid-range. Swings it out to Melo for a three. Melo misses. It's rebounded by Tyson Chandler. J.J. Barea has it now. He's defended by Mario Chalmers. Barea gives it up to the Jet. Jason Terry. He'll get the screen from Barea. Now it goes down to Dirk. Dirk working on LeBron. Goes to his signature fade and misses it. Now here comes Dwayne Wade. The flash in transition. Wade will get the screen from Heat legend Udonis Haslam. Go to the basket and lay it up and in. Seven point lead for the Heat. Oh wait, Bosch isn't fouled out? Oh, it says six offensive rebounds, not six fouls. My bad. Jason Terry bringing up the ball here. Mavs need a bucket. Terry has some room on the three-point line. Doesn't take the shot. He's getting clamped by Wade. And he throws it away. Mello with the steal. Mello goes to the basket and is fouled. And I think that will do it here. As long as Melo can knock these down, he will have sealed the deal, making big plays for Miami. First foul shot, cash. Second one for Melo is also good. And your Miami Heat take a 3-1 lead over the Dallas Mavericks. Wade went crazy in this one. And Melo, he was playing defense. Five steals in this game. One more win and we'll be NBA champions. We finish the series in five. D. Wade wins finals MVP. Carmelo only 14 in the final game, but a great playoff run as a whole. Numbers were nice, 24 PPG. As for Dwayne Wade, man, he was great. He wanted a ring and you could tell. Bosh did his thing and LeBron James was also really good with almost 10 assists a night. Now we're looking to repeat headed into the 2011-2012 season. Here we go. We're running it back with the same core, which is a good thing to me. I mean, this team was dominant in the playoffs. I don't see why we wouldn't go for a second ring. LeBron James goes back to back on MVPs. 26, eight and eight on the season. Coach Spo, coach of the year as we won 68 games. LeBron and Wade make first team this season. Dang, Melo, no all NBA. He definitely has had to take a back seat to Wade and Bron as Wade makes all defensive first and LeBron makes all defensive second. Now Melo was still good, averaging 21, seven and four on the year. These numbers are elite. I mean, the efficiency has been great for Melo. Round one of the playoffs, we got Heat Celtics. Celtics are only the eight seed here. Why does Brandon Bass have Draymond's picture? Whatever, man. Let's just go ahead and get the Celtics out of here. Round two, we got New York. They don't have Melo because I took him from the Knicks to put him onto this team. So they're probably cooked here as well. We beat them in five. Conference finals, it's the Bulls with D Rose once again. How many games did they win? 61. Yeah, they were elite in the regular season. Game number one of the series will go to Chicago. We win game two. They win game three. Okay. We're going to jump in the SimCast here for game four. This is a big game. We cannot afford to go down 3-1 right now. There you go. We're going to tie it up into a piece. Mello, a 30 ball in this one. Braun with 23. Bosch with 21 and 10. And now we got another big game. Game five. Series is all tied up. And despite the fact that we got off to a slow start to this series, we've really picked it up. And Melo is leading the way for us. 32 and 12 in this one. One more win and we'll advance to the NBA Finals. And there you go. Your Miami Heat are finals bound. Shout out to Mario Chalmers with 23. Not the best game for Melo, but hey, we got the job done. And now we have a LeBron versus Kobe Finals. Something that we never got in real life. This this is going to be an exciting one. Game number one of the series will go to LA and we win game two. All ready for game three. I'm jumping in the SimCast. I got to see some Braun versus Kobe gameplay. You're throwing Melo in the mix as well. This is going to be a fun series. Already, we got a two-point game here in game three. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. There's Kobe in the game for the Lakers. Powell's checked in. You got Wade, Braun, and Melo checked in for the Heat. Bosh is not in right now, despite the fact that he has 26 and 10. 
Man, Spo, you better sub him in the game. But let's go ahead and get this started. Kobe Bryant with the ball. He's defended by Wade. Bryant will get the screen from Pau Gasol. Kobe to the basket. Layup is off. It's rebounded by Udonis Haslam. Now to go to Mario Chalmers. Chalmers swings it to a wide open Melo. And that jumper is cash to give the Miami Heat a one-point lead. Lakers looking for an answer as Steve Blake brings up the ball. Blake, defended by Chalmers, will get the screen from Andrew Bynum. Steve swings it to Murphy. Murphy over to Kobe Bryant. Two of the best shooting guards ever in Wade and Bryant going at it here in the finals. Bryant fakes, takes the midi, misses. It's rebounded by Melo. Carmelo Anthony gives it up to the flash in transition for a mid-range. Wade misses, Chalmers the rebound, and Mario is fouled as he goes up with the second effort. All right, Mario, we need these. First free throw, cash, big shot. Second one for Chalmers is also good. That'll give your Miami Heat a three-point lead. LA needs to get some offense going as we have all the momentum right now. Bryant at the top of the key. Going to get the screen from Pau Gasol, get to his mid-range spot and knock it down. Yeah, you can't leave Kobe open in the mid-range. That's a bucket. One-point ball game as Melo brings it up for Miami. Melo isolating here. He's defended by Meta World Peace. He'll swing it over to Mario Chalmers. Chalmers gets the screen from Bosch, pulls the mid-range, and Mario misses. I don't love Mario taking that shot when Wade, Bron, Melo, and Bosch are on the floor. Now the Lakers have it. Bryant floater cash one point lead for LA as Kobe Bryant is cooking in the clutch he's got 33 and 7 on the game dang Wade only 13 and 5 and it looks like we need a timeout Eric Spolstra wants to talk things over and I definitely understand that it seems like the past 45 seconds or so of this game have not gone our way the Lakers have been getting buckets, and we've been unable to score. Chris Bosh will give it into Chalmers. Chalmers right to Melo. Carmelo Anthony working in the mid-range. This is where he does his damage. He's going to go to the basket, get the layup to go. Melo in the clutch, showing up for the Miami Heat, giving your Heat a one-point lead with about 30 seconds remaining. Steve Blake with the ball. The Lakers will go to Kobe. Kobe draws the double, finds World Peace wide open, and he knocks Knocks it down. Huge shot from Meta World Peace. Two point lead for LA. Exactly 30 seconds on the clock. And we just called our final time out of the game. Get the ball to Melo. He's been so good in the clutch. Chalmers with the rock. Down to Melo. Anthony at the rim. Fakes. Swings it back out to Chalmers. Chalmers back to Melo. He threw it away. That was a bad pass. And now we've got a foul. We fouled Steve Blake. Maybe he'll miss one for us to keep this a one possession game. He makes the first one. Oh no. Second one for Blake is up and it's in. Oh man. And we have no timeouts left. We got to get something quick. Dwayne Wade bringing up the ball. Wade going to fake. Pull the three. It's over with bro. We lost. So we are going to go down in this series. Kobe Bryant. 33 points. Melo had some great plays in clutch time, but it wasn't enough. And now we got to win this game for. We can't afford to go down 3-1 to the Lakers. We're going down 3-1 to the Lakers. Way with 21, Melo 19. Not the best game from your stars. And for the Lakers, it was really just a team effort, but they were able to get the dub over us. And now we got to win game five or the season is over with. We're trying to make a 3-1 comeback, which obviously is going to be tough against Kobe and the Lakers. And here in game five, we've got a one point game, 58 seconds remaining, season on the line. Let's jump in. Bosch is not in the game. Wade is not in the game. Wade fouled out. Bosch just isn't subbed in. Ball will go into Kobe for the Lakers. Brian in the mid range knocks it down. Oh my gosh. Kobe's cooking. 54 seconds to go. We're down by three. Mario Chalmers with the rock. These white heat uniforms are tough. It'll go down to Melo in the post. Melo has position and gets the layup to go. Melo's really been the closer for this heat team. Coming up with a lot of big plays in the clutch. Speaking of closers, Kobe Bryant has the ball. He's going to go to the basket and get fouled by Udonis Haslam. First one for Bryant is off. Did not expect that. Second one for Bryant is good. Two Two point lead for the Lakers. Still a one possession game here. About 30 seconds left. Chalmers to the basket. Takes the midi. Misses. 
That's not the shot, man. Now Kobe has the ball for LA. Bryant in the mid-range here is going to take his time. That makes sense. The Lakers have the lead. They definitely want to choose some clock. Bryant is about to make his move defended by Anthony. Kobe to the basket. And he gets it to go over multiple Miami Heat defenders. And that might just be the series. Kobe Bryant very well could have won it for the Los Angeles Lakers on that play right there. I mean, maybe if we hit a three or get a quick two something, we could have a slight chance. Shane Battier into Chalmers. Chalmers from the corner. Bro, why do we keep giving the ball to Mario Chalmers? This game is over with. The Los Angeles Lakers are your NBA champions. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Bron didn't show up the way we needed him to. Melo didn't either. Bosh had a very efficient game, but Kobe... He was cooking out there with 32 points. And Kobe wins finals MVP. So we were unable to go back to back. But don't worry. Help is on the way. Headed into the 2012-13 season. We've got Ray Allen on the team now, man. What more could you ask for from a basketball team? This squad is absolutely stacked. They better go out there and win the title this year. Okay, LeBron. We get it, man. You're good at basketball. Coach Spo, 69 wins. Coach of the year. Dwayne Wade is here on first team with LeBron. Man, they don't show Melo any All-NBA love, bro. Also, Wade and LeBron, all defensive first. Melo averaged 21, 9, and 5. Really good numbers for Anthony. How was Ray doing? Okay, he was good. 46 from 3. And then Bosh averaged 15 and 10. Bro, this team is nuts. I don't see how anybody can stop us in the playoffs this year. Round one, we sweep Philly. Round two, it'll be the Bucks. Oh my gosh. We were down three to one in this series. We did win game five. I thought this was going to be easy because, I mean, look at the roster, but apparently not. Let's see if we can at least force seven here. Okay, we do. This is really light work. A 3-1 comeback for the Heat. That's nothing. Okay, it looks like we are going to close this out in Game 7. This Bucks team had no business being up 3-1 on us in the first place. Let's be honest. Monte Ellis was hoping. It wasn't enough. Now we got the Chicago Bulls. Another matchup with Derrick Rose. Game 1 of the series will go to us. We win Game 2 as well. Oh, man. They got swept. NBA Finals, it'll be OKC. Russ, KD, Serge, Kendrick Perkins. This was after Harden ended up leaving. Game one of the series will go to us. We win game two as well. They'll win game three, but we win game four. Okay, they win game five. Let's jump at the SimCast for game six. Thunder are trying to make a 3-1 comeback here, and we need to stop them in their tracks. Oh my gosh, they're playing well in the fourth. I thought we had it in the bag, but it's a six-point game. Two minutes and nine seconds left. Let's just make the right plays here and finish this series off, win the championship. Bro, the game speeds on like a million. I don't know why this happens sometimes, but the players just move extra fast. LeBron fade away off. Oh my gosh. Melo the rebound. He's fouled. First foul shot cash. Second one for Melo is also good. Yeah, sometimes the settings on these rosters are just a little bit off. So now we get to watch the Brody move in super speed. Westbrook going to swing it out to Martin. Martin to Perkins. Perkins over to Russ. Russ to Ibaka. Ibaka going to go up with the layup and get it to go. Six-point game here. Minute 38 left. LeBron downhill slams it. Oh, my goodness. He was going fast to the basket there. Wow. All right, one more stop, and I think we should be good here. Russell Westbrook throws it away. GG, it's a signature Russ turnover. And we win the NBA championship. Melo leads the way with 2014 and 7. Solid numbers for Anthony in the playoffs. Wade, only 16 in this one. Braun, only 16 as well. But he averaged a near triple-double all playoffs. Ray Allen, maybe he was the missing piece for us because we added him to the squad and got back to winning. That's two championships so far for Anthony in Miami. As D. Wade wins another finals MVP. And we've got one more season to go the 2013-14 season let's see if we can cap it off with a third title we still have pretty much the same core three championships for Melo in this video would be fire so I'm really hoping we can close it out with a ring LeBron averaged a triple double this year to go four for four on MVPs no Wendy's 
Coach Spo, another coach of the year. And finally, Melo made All-NBA. There you go. 21-9-5 on the year. Wade was on all defense, but not All-NBA. He is a little bit older. Uncle Wade is 32. Bronze here on all defensive first. And this year, we were the one seed. The East isn't too crazy, so I think we should be able to make it through the conference pretty easily. Round one, we sweep the Knicks. Round two, it'll be the Bobcats. Bro, no, no, 2K, 2K. Didn't this team win like four games around this time in real life? So ultimately, Melo and the Heat were able to win two championships together. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.